Uh, well, welcome everyone again. Uh, this is a video but I, I had a question on the issue of using the aiming circle as a device uh, to orient uh, self-prepared artillery. Well, uh, someone asked me if, if it can be done. Well, it is not only that it can be done, it should be done in most of the cases uh, because individual batteries don't really calculate uh, firing solutions. Uh, what you are responsible for mainly is to orient your gun and give the elevation and all the stuff according to the uh, to the uh, commands or orders of the higher echelon command like the fire control or whatever it is called anyway. So uh, indeed, well uh, the uh, aiming circle is, a, is, a, is an excellent device to use that. For in order to that, to uh, demonstrate that I set up the usual mission where I have uh, my uh, Acacia here and uh, some juicy target, the convoy here and the uh, uh, forward observer. Uh, let's move to the forward observer. Just, just check if, if he's... Well indeed he's fine but uh, he's pretty close to the It's very uncomfortably visible by the by the convoy over there. So as usual, we relate this information back to our uh, to our artillery piece, and we calculate the solution. Well, they calculate the solution. It's not we who are calculating. It is the uh, it is the fire control who calculates the solution. I just uh, I just calculated that for you using this uh, uh, artillery calculation sheet and uh, you see I have a solution of 620 mils that's the all these uh, derivation and whatever side wind and everything I just put in and it calculated my uh, correct azimuth is uh, 670 and my elevation is uh, 372.3 and I have a fifth charge that is my firing solution for that uh, target so let's uh, set up our gun for 670 mils of, of uh, azimuth. How we do that? Well, easy. You come to your aiming circle and get into it as a gunner and what you have to do is obviously you find the north. You find the north. You rotate it until the moving needle is aligned with the stationary one and you are just pretty fine that's good and it is now oriented to the north so what I have to do is uh, on the boussole I have to set the uh, desired azimuth which was as far as I remember 670 yeah well so let's find 670, that's 200, 400, uh, yeah, 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 what are, 0, 200, 400, 670. So you see, the boussole now is at, well, it's very difficult to, yeah, I have a very high, a very sensitive mouse, but it is still very difficult to find that exactly the 70 or whatever you are looking for ah well that is a uh, that's good and when we have the 670 on the black scale on the boussole now we need to zero our inclination meter with the Z and X get to zero let's turn to our red scale and we just find zero that's good we just found zero so uh, our boussole is, is is looking at the desired uh, azimuth and we now uh, zeroed 
our inclination meter. Now what we have to do is to point our boussole onto the periscope. You see that it's a periscope. You get to the middle of it and what you need to do is to read the angle of the inclination meter which is what 38 now it's 3790 3790 so you get out of the bussel remember 3790 you get into the gun as Novotic bring up the sight well that is the direct shooting uh, that's that's the periscope sight 3790 that was so let's rotate you see I'm, now I'm rotating only the side I'm rotating on the side to 3790 31 36 37 37 48 50 70 790 and now I, as I have I need to balance it out you know you see with the one or two keys and the uh, insert and delete I balance it out and now I am trying to find the boussole but now see I am rotating the entire turret until my sight is pretty much uh, I'm trying to find the boussole here it is and I get to the middle of the boussole you see the lens 3790 okay let's now get out of the of the uh, of the artillery piece and let's get to the boussole again and recheck our reading because it needs two alignments you see, to, to get up to uh, compensate for the parallax error we need to do at least uh, there it is you know it rotated now and in the middle and let's see the, the Google scale that says you see that's how much it rotated because the uh, periscope is not on the on the rotation axis of the turret so now we are compensating for the parallax error and it is 3810 3810 so now we get to the get to the artillery piece get in as Novochik 3810 and we need to 3780 you see with the X and Z I get to 3810. It's exactly 3810. I now just rotated the side. Now I am rotating my entire turret until it is aligned with the middle of the lens of the of the uh, aiming circle. I level out my sight. I level out my sight that everything is in the middle of the bubbles, and that's fine. Now I'm done my uh, my uh, gun should be pointing at uh, what was that six six hundred seventy mils uh, let's see the elevation we calculated three hundred seventy two point three so let's set up the elevation with page up and page down first three hundred uh, I always remember everything three hundred seventy something one two three hundred 30, 372, I guess that was 372. Let's check that again. That was 372.3. That's rounded up. That will be 372. That's good. As always, whenever you change, you need to rebalance your sight and get back to the middle of the of the optics of the boussole and now what I do I elevate 
my barrel to the desired elevation when all the three lights are on my barrel is fine elevated to desired elevation that's good I need what uh, get back I need fifth charge it's not 3s2 I need to reload high explosive and it was charge fifth charge five that says Perry that's first so I need to change it to Shistoi Piati that's the fifth good I realign it again with, with the bussole and it's loaded I am what I'm doing is I just switch on the uh, the bullet cam because this Tushino has bullet cam too a working bullet cam that's amazing that's much more uh, interesting to see through the bullets let's fire and see what the bullet sees let's go oh you cannot speed up while the bullet flies so what is our convoy you see over there it is pretty close yeah it's gonna be I'm like whatever 50 something meters more you have to well you have to correct for everything if I correct for you need to correct with the elevation I just overshot about 50 meters so I need to uh, depress about a at that distance it's about five one two three four five I depress the gun and I need to go a little bit right like two or three mils I guess and fire again see now it is getting closer that's bomb. that is kind of hit so that's how you orient your uh, self-prepared artillery with the naming circle have a nice day